Welcome, everyone, to the Collider Flash Recap Show, Episode 14. What, Escape from Earth 2? Is that what we're calling it? Mm -hmm. What a show. I dressed up. I heard we were going to Earth 2, so (laughs) here we go. (laughs) Channeling your uh, Earth 2 berry there? Exactly, exactly. Earth 2 berry. I need the bow tie like this, yeah. Uh, But what an episode. What an awesome... I would kill to see you in a bow tie. (laughs) Next week. I think that'd be great. Next week. Um, what an awesome episode, right? I mean, we, we got we're coming back uh, from the from the episode that we had uh, last week. We're continuing on Earth Two. So much going on. I'm John Roca. Um, I'll be leading the panel today. Uh, but as always, I'm joined by some amazing co-hosts and also a returning co-host, which you'll see in a moment. But let's go around the table. Everybody introduce themselves. To my left, David Griffin. I'm not from Earth Two. I'm from Earth here. Uh, happy to be here talking about the Flash. Awesome episode tonight. Happy to be joined by this excellent panel we have here right. today. Right. And to the right, our new co-host. Hey, what's up? I'm Wendy Lee and uh, filling in for Kari today. And to the far right. Hey, uh, Iris is stupid. <laughs> I just never cease to be amazed by, number one, how stupid Iris is. And the only thing more <laughs> stupid than Iris is anybody who likes stupid Iris. Oh, oh no. All right. Oh, no. So... <laughs> John's making some enemies right now. He's making some enemies. Finally, John Camping gets to say what he really thinks about that. Tell us how you really feel. Uh, Anyway, you guys know how the show works. We talk. Were you offended? Then you're one of the stupid Iris people. Oh my lord! (laughs) Going out with a bang. Um, What was I saying? Yeah. All right. So you guys know how the recap shows work. Uh, We talk about what we like about the show. Then we talk about what we didn't like about the show. And then we read some of the Twitter questions and do our best to answer them uh, and give you guys credit for for, uh, sending the the questions in. As always, please send the questions in with the hashtag Collider Flash. We love to read them and answer them. But let's talk about this amazing episode, episode 14. So much happening. So many plot lines. So many storylines. So many terrible CG whenever the two (laughs) actors are in the same frame. But let's talk about (laughs) At all, uh, <laughs> just for old time's sakes, Mr. Campia, will you start us off? Uh, I what well, did you like about the show? Well, one of the things I really liked about this episode was how much they highlighted how stupid Iris is. <laughs> and I should say, I'm just trolling you. Actually, I like, I like Iris quite a bit. I actually like Iris quite a bit. Hey, I'm, I'm just trolling you. Um, no, this this episode was was such a great follow up to last Sorry. week. It really was. And one of the things that I I will go off on is is actually one of the things I actually truly do like is the fact that what they have done with the Earth-1 and their Earth-2 counterparts, sometimes they go really over the edge, like with Cisco. Like, his Earth-1 and Earth-2 counterparts are so radically different, or Caitlyn is so radically different. But the changes they've made in Barry from Earth-1 to Earth-2, where even though they're different behind the veneer of their difference, you can still tell that's Barry mm-hmm. in either one of them. Mm-hmm. And the way they subtly do that, and the same can be said of the Iris character. Like, if you take Iris from Earth 1 or Earth 2, when you get to the core of their character, you can still tell that's Iris, but they're a result of their individual world, so they come off with these subtle differences. And I found myself, despite all these big ticket item things going on, like who's the man in the mask and Zoom's going to show up, I found myself actually getting kind of caught up and appreciating how well they handle those subtle differences between the characters, as well as the ones with the big giant differences. That was there too. Um... I really did quite enjoy the whole... They brought in the whole new mystery. They took it to a new level of who's the man in the Iron Mask. Yeah. Is it Leonardo DiCaprio? Is it somebody <laughs> else back there? That was the thing because they introduced it. I thought, okay, there's some guy in the mask. We'll figure <clears> that out later. But today they brought it to a level and the whole thing, and then Jay Garrick and he's him getting mad right. about Jay Garrick. And then you're thinking, okay, is Jay Garrick shifty? But then he's acting very heroically and self-sacrificially. In the other, so I so that brought up my level. The whole thing of like him figuring out Barry, figuring out how to get out of the glass and all that kind of stuff. I and the Killer Frost angle, which I thought in watching the previews last week, I thought, ah, oh, this is going to be lame. I mean, this is going to be lame, but whatever. They need to do it to further the plot. But it actually worked out pretty well. Yeah, I thought it worked out pretty well. When it turns out, I thought the twist was that she was actually luring them there for Zoom. Yeah. But then they brought in the twist I didn't see, which is that even though she was doing that, she was still going to help them. So I thought, bravo to the way they handled that. It caught me off guard. I liked it. Yeah, I thought you thought, and what you bring up at the beginning of your points makes sense uh, with Barry and with Iris. At Behind the scenes, behind them, no matter how they are a product of their worlds, you're right, they still are who they are. Like Barry still tried to inspire Barry yeah. to do Barry things by Barry's thought processes, and Iris still breaks the rules even when she even when she's a cop on Earth too. She's still going to break the rules and do what she and needs to do. It goes to show that Barry, 
I, I don't, I'm not trying to wax poetic or anything, but Barry, what this episode tells us is that Barry had the heart of a hero before he was hit by lightning. Exactly. And underneath it all, Barry has the heart of a hero. Yeah. And that's it's not just the powers that make him a hero. Right. It's his heart. And I really like seeing that. Yeah. Wendy, what did you like? Oh, man, I love this episode. <laughs> I, I love seeing everything in Earth 2, the polar opposite of everything. So I am already itching for them to go back to Earth 2 just because right. I want to see more of Earth 2 Iris, Earth 2 Barry. I love him. He's dorkly adorable. <laughs> so adorable. Adorkable. <laughs> adorkable. <laughs> and I just really like Zoom so much. He is terrifying and he is mysterious. I love in the opening scenes, very Batman-esque with yeah. the writing on the wall, Bring Me Wells. It's terrifying and just seeing the effects he has on not just the people he keep prison, but the people that are affected, right. you know, by his prisoners as well. It's, I need more Zoom and I'm, and we have all these like theories, like who could be Zoom, like is it Henry, right. is it maybe Jay? And then that kind of got squashed in the episode. Right. So there's just always all these questions that keeps coming on. I'm like, oh, are we gonna get more questions before we get to the end of this? I don't know. And I love Killer Frost. She is one hot. And two, <laughs> badass. Very yeah, much. So. She's great. Yeah. I think what you say about Zoom is correct. When I mean Zoom, whenever Zoom is on, it seems to take the episode to a whole nother level. Yes. And I think everyone, I think the whole everything about the episode just goes to a whole nother level. The acting, the writing, the plot lines, everything just gets elevated. Be and us watching it get scared or get caught up in it mm -hmm. because he's such a vicious uh, criminal or evil villain with absolutely no vulnerability, absolutely zero feeling that he might change his mind about something because like what they did with with Killer Frost, how mm -hmm. Cisco was able to convince her to help them supposedly, still you believed it. It's because like there he was doesn't have a conscience. Right. He doesn't, and that's what's scary about Zoom, and I think that's what works so well whenever he's on a, and the then show to so make a great just point. one more thing, the yeah. ending. Like, we all kind of yeah. saw it coming. We all kind of knew that something was going to happen to Jay, but I thought that he was just going to get grabbed back into Earth, too. Right. I did not think I was going to see Zoom's hand going through his chest, so that yeah. I was caught me off guard. Right. Yeah, me too. But that's typical. That's perfect Zoom. That's what Zoom would do. Mm -hmm. The more dramatic movement, that's Zoom. Mm -hmm. What did you think, David? I think, uh, go, I'm going to go off Wendy, it's just more Zoom. Zoom all the time. Uh, he's, <laughs> you think that the more you think... <laughs> Zoom all the time. So I'll zoom all the time. I think the more you'd see and the more you get tired of them, it's really hard to craft an iconic villain. Oh, television yeah. or, 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 or film. You know, sometimes people say the best villains are the ones that are ambiguous. That you, there's different layers to them, you know, that you can maybe relate to them a little more. I don't I know that's always true. I think sometimes you can just go that whole pure evil route like they're doing here, and they're doing a great job. I mean, you have uh, J uh, Jeffrey uh, Barath Baratheon on Game of Thrones. I yeah. think you have Gus Fring on Breaking Bad. I think Zoom is quickly establishing himself as one of those iconic villains. I think yeah. he's that good. Uh, the only difference is, I mean, it's the CW. People pick on the CW. Right. It's, it's mm -hmm. the soap opera. It's all this, but they've won two Golden Globes back to back in the comedy category for actress. So I mean, they are establishing themselves as a reputable network for yeah. producing good talent. Um, it's still a CW sometimes, but I think Zoom is a fantastic villain, one of the best villains on television. I mean, I love when he shows up the first time. He's got the cops back, like freeze. He just kind of turns around, like really, like <laughs> yeah. really, bro. Come on, I mean, and then you just at me, bro? I, don't, I don't know if he went back and hit him. I assume it's just his exhaust or his yeah. exertion just knocked them all back. He's just the man. Every time he shows up, you just don't know what's going to happen. The way he was phasing in and out of the wall just effortlessly. Yeah. He just he just does everything so well and he's an awesome villain yeah the creator should definitely be lauded for taking zoom and making him even more of a badass than reverse flash was last season you know i mean the way yeah. he, they and they give him like when he vibrated through the walls to go into wells's hiding place all of us were like oh my god like how like we didn't see that coming but it's but it, that's the level to which he keeps going they put barriers in front of him and he finds a way through them in ways that are even more that accentuate his villainy even more and i Except, thought that was nice Oh yeah, except the beginning. He's but not we're, we're necessarily all that bright. <laughs> his, yeah, let's 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 go into is, 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 this, is this a segue into the negative? Not yet, not yet. Let okay, me let me say a couple of things. We'll see. We'll see. We're talking about how we'll great Zoom it. is. It felt like a good time, but I won't. <laughs> we'll get to that. your hatred of ISIS. Hold on, oh, Iris. Hold on. No, so for me, uh, if I want to, obviously I agree with all everybody's points, but I also want to throw in a couple of things. Like I love the fact that they threw in the POW alphabet. Alphabet. That was cool. Great for me as a former military guy. It was like, oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Like I just was stoked even more. And it was more. cool it wasn't just Morse code again because everybody right. does Morse code. So was, that was really cool. Yeah, to have it because it made sense because of where he's at. That makes sense to, to use it that way. I also enjoyed uh, 
Barry as an as a nerdy guy and doing the things that he does. But Velocity Nine is an interesting introduction. I think people need to take notice of this because Velocity Nine in the comics is introduced by Vandal Savage. It's created by Vandal Savage, oh. and Vandal Savage is already part of the Arrow world, the crossover world, yep. and also Legends of Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that they're kind of bringing in here that they're playing with, and I think that should be paid attention to because eventually that's going to come up. Because how did Caitlin create that? Will there be a Vandal Savage thing where he gets involved in this at some point? So it's all these little nuggets that the creators who are really smart about the show bring in from the comics and drop in unusual places that make you interested in the show, I think. Is, and that's a great example of yeah. it, Velocity 9. Okay, so negative stuff. Go ahead, John, please. Right. Start us as you started us with the positives. <laughs> Three things. First of all, let's, let's be clear. I really enjoyed the episode. I think this yes. is a winner of an episode. Yeah. Really, really good. <laughs> But I found myself three different times yelling at the TV. Uh, one was off the bat, as Zoom is scouring the city, I'm going to find you, Wells. He scours it. How about you look at his office? How about that? How about we start? Let's start at his office. Let's start where we think he normally would be. No, he's scouring the docks and everything. And then eventually he ends up, like he's got to write, bring me Wells and fire in the building because he just can't figure out. He's in his office. How about we start there? The second thing that really bothered me this episode too is this, first of all, the Flash over the two seasons have brought some great villains of the week. Some great villains of the week. This Geo pussy, he's awful, oh. awful villain. Fail. Like he's, he seems like a guy who's in a parody of a superhero movie. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I'm the bad guy. Ooh. Like he's awful. But here's the thing. Everybody's talking about, oh no, he's going out creating havoc and no one can stop him by the flash. Really? How about any cop with a gun? Because he ain't bulletproof. And when the, when the cops started shooting around the last episode, he went, ah, and ran away. <laughs> yeah. And true. despite the fact that he does not have super speed, the cops couldn't follow him and catch him. But whatever, so how about anybody go off and stop him <laughs> at any time? I mean, that seems good. And then the third thing, oh my God. Okay, so in the end, the Killer Frost turns on Zoom. You get that, Zoom didn't see that coming. So she's able to get the drop on him and freeze him. Then there's Wells with this mega super gun of science gods. <laughs> hey, Zoom's frozen still. Shoot him. <laughs> you see that big gun in your hand there, kid? <laughs> Shoot him. Nope. It's like, oh, we got to get out of here. Well, or, or we could shoot him. We right. have we have this big laser gun and he can't move. Let's shoot him. So those are the three times I found myself really yelling at the TV <laughs> um, this week. But aside from that, it was an awesome episode besides those little nitpicks. <laughs> All right, uh, David? Uh, it's, it's, I'm curious to see what, what Jay's been up to. That earthquake happened inside the yeah. uh, the, the building, and he, he was sleeping through it. He was napping. And they were yeah. He's like, mm. yeah. He's yeah. Like, I'm, I'm gonna go downstairs and take a nap. I mean, yeah. it's a whole thing of like every time Zoom's there, he's not there. But it's hard to, because I mean, the hand goes through. I mean, how does that work? Yeah, you know? I yeah. Mean, how, how does that work? But it's interesting. Like Jay's just never around. Yeah. Or he's always just like tired or taking a nap or something. I, I, he's I, out of shape. I, well, even you were saying during the episode, you commented, you said something feels weird here. Something's off here yeah. with Jay. Like he just felt something was off. And then in the end, I thought it was a little telegraphed walking towards the portal. It's like, oh, we, we knew something. I know, it's like, portal. come on. Yes. I was like, hey, let me just back up a second. You know, it's like you don't stand next to a closing portal. Watch Stargate. You just don't do that. <laughs> right. It's not smart. So, yeah. I mean, I thought that was a little bit telegraphed. But all in all, I thought this was a fantastic episode. It was. Really it was an it. awful I lot of fun. It. Yeah, yeah, I mean, right? it's always fun to, to nitpick a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> right. Wendy, what did you think? Is um, there anything negative? Anything? I'm really nitpicking here, but okay. why does everybody get in Star Labs? Yeah. Why? Why is that? Didn't at this the end of season one, one, didn't complaint. they, like, up the security in Star yeah. Labs? Yeah. And this dude's got no superpowers. No. And apparently isn't that bright. And he just comes, do, 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 do. Right. I'm going to walk and right in. You'd have heard him coming in because of his powers. So there's no, if there's we can get also, a few questions about the whole earthquake that he creates. So when he creates an earthquake, does he target an area? So when he does this and puts his fist to the ground, was he going for that hospital building? And also, how long does it take for the building to collapse? Because there's a lot of people out of the building. Already. Jay comes along. Yeah. He rescues three people. Is that all? Those right, which the means they evacuated most of them. Yeah, maybe, a, they're all standing there. So like, they really need them anyway. <laughs> there was enough of a warning. There was enough of a warning. There's only three people. <laughs> or the camera guy photographing him right. doing the earthquake thing. He wasn't shaking. I'm like, was the earthquake just going to that building? Is that the only? <laughs> well, at least only 285 people died in the in the building collapse instead of 288. <laughs> I'm no all right, thank well, God the flash was there. Well, neither is that geomancer guy. He's obviously not a scientist because he's just using this randomly wherever. Oh my. And he doesn't think about fault lines. Doesn't think about anything. And and why does he so? Why is he so mad at the flash? Like we don't know. Why he's so mad at the He just flash. wants to take down heroes. Right? Uh, but, but, yeah, but what? Just, you know who he reminds me of? Mm. The Geomancer? Mm. Okay, this is going back. A lot of you people want to understand the reference. 
in <laughs> Mystery <laughs> Men. Yeah. Mystery oh my men. God, yes. The guys at the very beginning, the red eyes, the guys who attack the senior <laughs> citizen home. The guy, yeah, 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 I wear the red eyes. Yeah, give me those jewels. That's who Geomancer reminds me of. It just dawned on me. He's the leader of the red eyes. Yeah. There we go. It's interesting because I wonder if they did that so that you you would focus on the main plot. The stuff at Earth 2, the stuff on... Like, you don't... It, they probably didn't need to do it because it was so well done, but mm -hmm. it might have been done that way on purpose so you're, you're not distracted with this Geomancer crap. But it, like, it, it's just... It's comic relief more than anything It didn't else. help me focus on the main plot... <clears throat> It distracted me from how good the show gotcha. can be. Okay, you know, it's like this. This is beneath. This character is beneath this show. Got, yeah, this show I is too completely. good for a character mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And they next just, week we're getting a good one. Oh yes, yeah. we're getting yeah. a good one next yeah. week. Yes, we are. are. <laughs> King Shark, King <laughs> Shark, baby. Which will be awesome. That's gonna be awesome. Get a good one. Uh, what, were you finished up with your negative? I one? just have a question for yeah. actually all of you guys. So in the last episode, did we, you tweet it? No. We okay. <laughs> 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 hashtag uh, Clyde or Flash. <laughs> when do you? When Lee Zaney wants to know. So okay, in the last episode, they hinted at uh, Atlantis that Barry bought oh, yeah. his mm -hmm. Earth two mom Aquaman. and dad. Tickets, and they mentioned it once again in this episode. They keep, oh, they we keep have mentioning family. Atlantis. Yeah. Do you yeah. think we're gonna see it? Yes, I we hope. have to see it. I hope so. Because we could see Black Manta. Yeah. We could see his. Talk about wife. a heavy, a special effects heavy episode. Yeah. yeah. Well, well uh, Atlantis hasn't much. sunk. I mean, it's That's not. True. It's not an underwater That's kingdom. True. They can do like one world. wide shot and then just go in. Mm -hmm. and do Yeah. Like so it's not a, an yeah. underwater kingdom in, in this earth. So in this earth, it never sunk. There's no reference to Arthur. I don't think they will. I don't think they will. You think? reference it. Well, there's there's a couple. Well, there's a lot of things in both Arrow and Flash that they drop things in all the time. I mean, they've said Man of Steel in. We had the phone last week. Saw Bruce and how. Uh, yeah. That doesn't mean we're going to see Batman. Gotcha. In, in Legends True. Tomorrow, they say, they say I've seen Men of Steel do this. That doesn't mean we're going to see Superman. Right. Uh, I just think they're doing a little bit of what Marvel does. Like Marvel doesn't do it as bad as they used to on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but like the first season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you couldn't get five minutes in that show with, wow, that reminds me of Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah, this reminds right. me of the conversation I once had with Thor. Like Ugh. They're constantly dropping those <laughs> Easter eggs. Yeah. I don't think, because I, don't, I feel like, and maybe I'm totally wrong, I feel like... Our exploits into Earth 2 are almost done on the show. Wow. Like, I, I feel like mm, we're okay. almost done with Earth 2. So, I, now, if Earth 2, if they somehow go into a thing where going between the worlds becomes a regular thing. Yeah. Then, yeah, eventually we're going to see Atlantis. Yeah, I think eventually we will. Cool. Yeah, I mean, that makes, because like what you mentioned on the show, I think it was last week or a couple weeks ago when we talked about the Supergirl stuff. I think it was last week you mentioned like, if Supergirl exists, how come they haven't been talking about Man Superman? If they haven't talked about Superman, that means Supergirl has to be in an alternate universe because in Supergirl's world, mm, Superman right. does exist. Yeah. So Earth 2 might not be done just yet, but I'm certainly maybe for this season. Because it is season. the Flash. Yeah. I mean, so they could be so opening he, he's a storyline where he's always yeah. going right. between dimensions. He's I mean, always they could doing do that. So yeah. it's certainly possible that it could come up. Also, too, we didn't see, did we? I'm pretty sure we didn't see Caitlin if she died or not. We just saw oh, Zoom. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Just, yeah. We see her right. trying right. to hold Zoom So she could still be around. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah, in comic so. book movies, unless you see them die, they die. <laughs> yeah. even if you, <laughs> if you see, see them die, them die they're probably not die. dead. They're going to be yeah. decapitated and cut into pieces, and maybe. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I was happy to see Caitlin, uh, Killer Frost back again. I just love when they give the, the actresses and the actors on the show a chance to stretch a little bit in characters. And I loved seeing that character or the color on Daniel Panabaker. And I loved seeing this version of Iris. I mm -hmm. love Earth 2 Iris. I think she's fantastic. She's great. She's very strong, very firm. Mm -hmm. There's no uh, wishy-washy stuff about mm -hmm. her, and I enjoy that very much. And I think with Killer Frost, it was nice to see the color of Caitlyn come back, even in Killer Frost when they were convincing her, supposedly, to help them. I thought that was really sweet. So, you know, so just like And I saw, found myself wanting to know, why does she hate being called Caitlyn so much. Yeah. Now right? I find yeah. that's when you know a character is being handled really well when yeah. you're just aching to know more about them. Right. Like the man in the iron mask. Yes. Could, I want to know who that is. Could One be. of the things I wanted to see, and I forgot to mention this, is that they had reverbs goggles. Yeah. And Cisco never got to use them. Mm -hmm. But he still has them, but he they made a them. point to remind us that he's got them. Yeah. So right. you know <laughs> those are gonna come into it's play. Yeah. Reverse engineering. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. When it goes back to Earth when you adjust yeah. the frequency. Because well it's like we don't have time for that. We have to go. Oh there was a there was a back to the future moment. We said oh that's heavy. Right. There was a oh, Cisco yes, said yeah. that's heavy. Another one. Cisco oh, always yeah. has great quotes every week. Yeah, he had a Princess Bride reference. There was a great yeah. Princess, Princess Clips. Bride. Mm -hmm. The was Clips of Insanity. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I appreciated that a lot. I thought it was that good. was our Cisco moment of the week. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, all right. So to be, let's get to the Twitter questions. So I think we've hashed the show out enough. Sure. Uh, Wendy, do you have some Twitter questions you want to read us? Oh, I got to unlock my phone. Oh, okay. You can go first. Okay. This is the real world. <laughs> Technology. All right. Here we go. Uh, my, uh, the question we have from L Leonis Delorbe. Okay, 
So is the guy with the metal helmet Jay Garrick? And when do you think they will go back to Earth 2? Well, I mean, obviously... He typed out Jay. Yeah, he typed mm -hmm. out Jay. So, so there's either something wrong with the Jay that's on Earth 1 right now. Which is what I think. Or he's yep. saying he's Jay. And maybe there's Earth 3 Jay. Is, <sighs> I, I mean, who knows? I... I, I don't know. First of all, I just want to know who the man in the iron mask is. Right. I mean, yeah. that's. I mean, at first we thought, wait a minute, wait, what? What, what color is his skin? And we're trying to pay close attention. Mm -hmm. For a while there, I thought it looked like he his hands were black, but then they saw the back of his neck. I'm like, no, that looks like a white dude. Yeah. So, and you never, I never saw him quite in good enough light. Mm. I think he's a white dude. Yeah. I think the blonde hair, which I mean, could be Jay. Um, when they were just his hands, and I thought they were black hands, I thought, oh, maybe it's Wally West. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, of that of that Earth, but then maybe maybe not. I I honestly. I have no idea. Right. I thought I saw a peak of blonde. Yeah, I thought I so too. too right? Yeah, I thought Me so too. too. Yeah. What do you What do you think? Dave? I was gonna say yeah, I forgot though because you're talking about when they're gonna go back to Earth too. As part of the question too, yeah. is that Barry does say I'm gonna come back for you. Yes. Yeah. So he makes that promise. So you know he's a man of his word. I don't. The question is, are we gonna see it this season? I think so. You think you see this? I, I, think, I don't yeah, think they yeah, let yeah, that we're hang We're not done with Zoom this season. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think we're yeah. done. Everything's gonna get wrapped up like yeah. last season with the first flash. Everything led to the to that last. This all feels like the same thing. They would do the same thing. But that would what be interesting if the guy in the mask was Wally, right? Because then maybe that you know I don't see, I don't know how that's going to work. Because I mean, is, is that person a former speedster? We don't know. I mean, it's, right. it's so hard to tell by just looking at the guy in a mask. But I mean, that's, yeah, and we saw what is Jay Garrick's mm -hmm. doppelganger already a couple episodes ago. Yeah. Hunter Zolomon, his Earth One doppelganger. Right. Yeah, yeah, his Earth One doppelganger. Hunter Zolomon sitting there, who is the name of Zoom. Hunter Zolomon sitting there uh, feeding, reading his book in the park. So who would this Jay Garrick be if it's really Jay Garrick? You know, in, yeah. in what if Jay and Hunter Solomon working together? Yeah, it could be. Anything's Whoa. possible. All right, drop a bomb right I think there. we're definitely going back to Earth too. Right, Wendy. All right, so since we're talking about Wally, this uh, Mark Pope says, with Wally being part of the show or lack thereof, do you think he'll get speed this season? I don't mm. think he's going to get it this mm. season. Yeah, I, I, I like. One of the things that I really like about this whole team of the, the Arrow Flash team, and they've done it especially well in Arrow, especially in the first couple seasons, they've done a really great job. They have patience. Mm -hmm. You know, they will introduce a story thread and then just let it go yeah. and come back to it two seasons later. Like in, in Arrow, and I know we're here to talk about Flash, but it's the same team basically. In Arrow, they let us know, I think it might have been season one, that Oliver had a son out there somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then they just let it go. <laughs> yeah. And then like two years later, they bring that theme back in, and then they start to explore it. Mm -hmm. And so I wouldn't be surprised if they are introducing some elements, like Wally, they bring him in. They don't need, they don't feel the need to rush everything to like, here's Wally, so next week he's got to be a Flash too. Right. Um, I think they're going to take their time. So whether that means early season three, I just don't think it's going to be this season. Okay. Yeah. No we, matter. Okay. Uh, well, I think it's interesting because a they took Jay Garrick out, so now we have no more speedsters other than the Flash, in Earth One. So the possibility of him getting his speed now, you've created a, a possibility of a space for another speedster. Mm -hmm. Is this possible? But I agree. I think I agree with you, John. I think they're they're going to let it play out a little bit as they do on the show, which is what's so great about the show. They let things play out, and so, sometimes they rush things because it works, and other times they play it out. They do a nice job of combining those two things to keep us interested in the show and, and always keep us guessing, always zigging when zagging that kind of thing. And and I think it's certainly possible that Wally could get his speed, but I'm more in the camp that it will eventually. Come happen maybe next season or or at the end in the season finale mm -hmm. in some way of helping them fight zoom certainly possible there was one Especially theory velocity I heard. nine available yes now. yeah one theory i heard and i do not buy into the theory. by the way <laughs> be very very clear I do not buy into this theory ezra miller the casting of ezra miller to play flash in the movies is a lie it's it's a it's a distraction it's a ruse uh it's a lie that what they're going to do is that they are going to have Barry Allen of the TV shows cross dimension into the DC cinematic universe, which is a different earth. And Wally West will eventually, when that happens, Wally West will eventually become the flash of the TV uh, universe. Now, again, I do not Ooh, believe this theory whatsoever, wow. but full marks to the person came up with for the create, creative thinking. Yeah, that right. is creative thinking. <clears throat> wow. 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 But they would, they would never <laughs> take... Um, uh, Grant off this show. Grant is this yeah. show. Yeah, is so I mean, yes. they, they just wouldn't take him off yeah. this show. Yeah. So Agreed. much revolves around him. Yeah. Also, I'm curious about the portal. Now, they closed it, but mm -hmm. with that machine, can they reopen it? 
I don't know. Oh, that's the thing. I'm, 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 I'm no scientist, so. but you know, I'm just wondering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Griffin says, <laughs> <laughs> "If you close the portal, it's closed." <laughs> <laughs> so, I would yeah. imagine you could. I mean, in flat, in, in, like like John was saying earlier, in comics, always nothing's ever dead. Yeah, yeah. Nothing's yeah. ever dead. Certainly, yeah. everything's. What did you think, Wendy? About Wally? Yeah. Um, no, I don't think he'll get his speed at all this season. This season at all? No. Okay. All right. Do you have next one more? season, though, I have one last one, yes. and this one comes from at Slander Ent. Do you feel <laughs> <laughs> like entertainment? Okay. Uh, do you feel they wasted Reverb's appearance? I think an evil Cisco could be a compelling villain Ooh, for the team. Great question. Yeah, I think it goes back to John's theory, you know, question. I guess about how much we're going to go back to Earth Two if we're closing off Earth Two now. If we're yeah. not going to go back to Earth until next season, well, he is dead. Yeah, I mean, either yeah. way, he's dead. But he's I'm saying, dead. like, if that's the case, maybe maybe they're not playing on using Earth 2 as much as we think they will. Right. I mean, because I think if they use Earth 2 a lot, he's a great character. But then Earth 2, there's so many other possibilities, different characters you can yeah. show there. It's a whole different world. They can even go to a different Earth, maybe. So, I mean, yeah, yeah I think it just depends on how much they're going to use. It's too bad we don't have him anymore because he yeah. was fantastic. Mm -hmm. was he great? I, I personally feel like it was too soon. Okay. I feel like they're definitely going to go back for at least two more episodes. Mm. Um, so I would have liked to see... Evil Cisco just one more time. Yeah. Because it was so like, he was so powerful, so short lived, mm -hmm. that character. Yeah. And I wasn't really satisfied with how it ended. Yeah. John? Um look, I really dug Evil Cisco yeah. a lot. Yeah. Actually, I dug him a lot. But let's look at it for what it was. He was not there to be a new villainous character. He was there to give us a glimpse into Cisco's potential. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what he was there for. That character was simply there to give us as the audience a glimpse into just how powerful Cisco can become and to let Cisco see yeah. that there's much more uh, untapped power that he has than what he's using right now. And if you look at it in that way, the character served his purpose. I mean, does the idea of evil Cisco become an intriguing villain, yes. But then you could say that for every single good guy character. Joe could be yeah. an intriguing mm -hmm. villain. Yeah. A Barry, another Barry could be an intriguing villain. Another Iris could be an intriguing villain. Of course you can, everybody can. But mm -hmm. his function and purpose was to give the audience a glimpse and Cisco a glimpse into Cisco's potential so we can look forward to that down the road. And he served his function and Zoom ripped out his heart and I'm good with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm absolutely in that camp. I think we it's always a fine line between a good and a bad person, cockiness or acceptance of power or confidence. Mm -hmm. It's always that that fine line and I think what you're saying John is right what I think what we saw was a glimpse of what Cisco can become once he fully embraces vibe and becomes a mature hero mm -hmm. and able to use his powers and understand the breadth of his powers. So we could see him embrace that and be just as confident and cocky as uh, as Reaver was, but without the uh, evil side to mm -hmm. him. And I think that's what we saw. And that's why I think we all were so excited to see this possibility because Cisco has always been a guy uh, more than anybody else on the show. He's been a guy who's been trying to find his place in the world. Yes. You know, and I think we saw Reaver was a glimpse of, of, of that coming to fruition and us who've been cheering him on from the sidelines seeing that in such a great way because we've kind of taken ownership mm -hmm. of the character so that would be fun to see so i agree with that uh well thanks everybody for your twitter questions as always thanks I always remember to do if you want to send them in the future do the hashtag collider flash we love to read them we love to answer them and if we didn't get to yours please keep sending them because i'm sure we'll get to them on a future show uh, all right that's the show for tonight let's uh, go around the table where can everybody find everybody david where can people find you, you can find me on twitter at griffin de and i'll be right here on collider video talking about some star wars rebels Hey, yes. hey Wendy. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at Wendy Lee Zaney. <laughs> uh, and John, yeah, you can find me on uh, Facebook and on Twitter at Iris the Idiot. Oh my uh, God, Lord. Again, still trolling. No, you can follow me on uh, Facebook and on Twitter simply at John Campia. And uh, it, it's it is believe me when I tell you it is imminent. The the announcement of the release of my book, uh, The Pride, it is coming out here uh, really really soon. I'm going to be telling you like within a matter of days when you can go online and order it. So keep your eye open for my new book, The Pride. Awesome. That's great. We'll definitely keep an eye out for it. As always, you guys can look for me on Instagram and on Twitter at the Roca says all this, all those shows I host, all the stuff I do is all on there. Uh, and you can also go to my website now. There's up www.johnsroca.com to see anything else you'd like to see about me. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, please comment. Uh, please follow us and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We love it every week to read your comments. So we look forward to them every time we do. Thanks. And we'll see you all next week.